the dom's poster color you can go for dom's poster color you can also there's a new um, new uh, type of paints that has come which is gouache we also use that and So here we can also use poster colors as I said acrylic also you can use swatches you can do anything we uh, we would be doing only with the wet colors so it is not that we are using any uh, pencil colors or anything so don't do that so starting we will so when you use your poster colors you see that there are two shades lemon yellow and this bright yellow I go for the bright one so I will be just putting it take take out your paint out in a palette and I will be doing the border here so by till the time people join in so uh, in a flat plate I'm just taking it out this is just the color and I will be doing the border now talking about the borders the borders are only uh, yellow or green or blue so we will be starting with the border here so preferably take a flat brush and with a clean steady hand just go all the way down and you will have a beautiful uniform thickness of border so this is the best way of doing the border here And that's how actually it is done it's done uh, in this manner only with a flat brush just take it and glide it down so these uh, these paintings are done in the small um, area not many people practice it but still it is very beautiful and stunning very vibrant very uh, bright There is often a question that people ask whether we can do it with the brush pens. Yes, brush pens is a new invent, uh, invent that has come up and it's very handy. So if you want to do, yes, detail work, you can do that. But yes, few of the portions we will do with different tools. The accessories on top will not be done with the uh, brush pen because brush pen is a water-based color. And you cannot do much layering or creating the dots and all with that now the base of these paintings is primarily red so so we are starting with this base of the painting which is red in color You may use any uh, any uh, color, baby gouache or poster or acrylic, anything. Acrylic gives a little bit more shine to it. So I'm just taking this red. And I will be doing the base. I'll quickly take a wash if in case you feel that there are uh, strokes coming in yours then you can just do one more coat on it do not dilute the paint with water too much otherwise you will have a lot of strokes here I'm not giving it a very fine outline because all the details will cover it up 
I will do the line work. So it feels that it's taking too much time, but it won't even the background will get covered quickly. I'm just giving this portion a little curve here, but not the final, the small dots will come over here, which I will do it on in the end. So a very important part is the nut is always seen for the females and that again gets painted after the background is done. I am using a 10 rounded brush to do this. Just right now you will be seeing some uh, lines actually those are they still have to dry once dry it will all get covered if not then you may uh, want to do a second coat on it that is okay but just to give it a plot that the background is red we also see sometimes we see the green background also now yesterday since we were doing this workshop and many had questions about uh, Patachitra and similarities and difference about it I couldn't answer all of them because we were just uh, oh it was going over time so I will be answering that later once our painting gets over. Just sweep it gently without giving too much of lifting. Just sweep it gently. Leave the major areas. You may also do it over. Over this. If in case you happen to go a little closer. Closer to uh, these details. You can redo them. So this. I am not colouring this part because this part will give the. Uh, this is the house. Here the hut. Just cover up all the details so that you get a smooth finish. Once they dry, you'll get nice color. So here this red is done. The yellow border is done. We'll quickly move on to the basic. Uh, basic color will be laid down first. So, and then the detail work will start. While the we will be doing the detail work, the uh, few of the, I mean like the basic color, whatever we have done uh, before, the first layer of the color will dry. So that is why I will do the lady first and reach out to these things later. So that when we revisit this place, we rework on it, on the details, it is dry. Uh, I picked up the acrylic because it will dry out permanent and very quick. So that's why I took that. You may also take poster colors, no issues. Now, what are the dresses? What are the faces on the, uh, the faces? The faces will be yellow in color. We sometimes make it a little bit in a brownish tone by adding brown. So, you can actually add that to make them. But it is not the skin color. It's mostly like a yellow tone. So, I'll just add on the color. And I'll show you how to make that color. So I have yellow over already over here. I'll take a little more. See to it that your brush is nice and clean. So I'll take a thinner brush. And very little of the brown. Very little, just a tiny bit. And then blend it. If need be, you can adjust the shade. It's very light brown so that it gives you a little, um, not very bright, but a little, 
a little brownish so it's kind of a ochreish color you can see the difference of this to that right now i will be doing all the areas of the skin yes one similarity in butter chitra and this is also that we do use yellow for both the pictures both the paintings so that could be one reason that you feel that it is almost the same but there are a lot many differences the border here is very plain or not very detailed whereas in patachitra it's very highly detailed borders very intricate the levels of um, drawings are also very advanced in patachitra as compared to this Here. so while on paper you can see the difference of bright yellow and the one which i mixed with the with a little brown though it's very minimum it will add the uh, shade give it flat coloring I'm just doing the yellow over here but then later we will have to do a lot of color on the hand because in um, in the paintings you'll see the alta or alta uh, use of alta a lot in the paintings on the hand and in the feet just smoothen the color out and then we'll just visit to this we'll do the pile over it so i'm just filling the whole thing up still you will be able to see the details wherein you can actually do the uh, beads and all so So the yellow part of this is done. I will do the same for the girl. Now the here the legs are folded and only the thigh is seen. Probably this leg is folded on the other and the other is not seen. So the foot is not seen and she is wearing the sari or uh, ghagra whatever you can call it. So this is the belly. So this flat coloring is almost over for this portion and now we will go to the uh, dress. I will do the same for this. Now here I am adding a little bit of more brown to the same color because it will actually dry out. So I will just add a little bit of brown here to make it the mud color or a yellowish brown here and I will be doing this wood part so it's not very dark brown so uh, you will see how in the levels of intricacy and detailing this stands a little simpler uh, while compared if compared to the uh, Patachitra.
so with just one stroke I'm just covering this whole area detail now the green portions now the green can be very bright or the light so we can have both the shades of green yeah you can do crimson also so it can be a poster red if you are taking poster red it can be scarlet when you will see the boxes you will see that the, the different shades are there yes coming to this as in uh, what i used as a crimson shade you can also use a scarlet because in the gouache colors we get scarlets right so we can just use a scarlet you will see that the scarlet is a little bit more orangish towards orangish so that uh, even the red for the, the for the red you will have poster red in your poster colors in acrylic also you get red you can choose your shade of red it can only um, be either scarlet or crimson or poster red that or the primary red color now while this now we will decide on what color to put on the dress now I will just take suggestions. Let's see what comes up. What color sari do you think the cherry al pictures have? What colors are more prominent for the dress? Anybody can write in. So let's see. I will be taking because we have a lot of dress, the female dresses, we will take any to do any section. So yeah, but we do not take any uh, mix color, too much of mix colors. We just take a very primary kind of shade. So I'll just take the green first to do the this part. Now what in acrylic I have is the light green color, which is actually, the light green is actually the darker shade. So I'll just show you this part. I'm just taking this green. Take it in a corner. And I will be adding a little bit of blue in it to make it a dull color, not very bright. So, little bit, very little bit of blue to make it that. So here, this is a little sort of blue and then I just blended it. So this will be even darker, not that brightness is not there. But yeah, the color gets a little more dark. So, this shade. So the shade is a little different from then. So I will just show you once again. See this was the color that was there previously and what is what happens when we mix the color because of the light it's shining actually now you can see the difference uh, light brown yes for the dress we do light browns blue green orange yes yes so only the color that we don't see much is the red because uh, the background has taken all the red so now the details go on and yes, we do not do yellow also because the the faces and this all the jewelry will come as highlighted white, yellow and some stonework with red and green. So that will come. So what what uh, what are the colors we are actually left with are uh, shades of green, brown. Sometimes we've also seen it in gray. So generally when you, um, if in, uh, because it de depends on the theme of this, if you have an old lady, generally the colors that are used uh, in Cherian, for the older ladies, you will see it is gray or brown shades. And for the, uh, for the brighter ones like uh, blue, yellow, uh, yellow I said not much, yes, but if in case too much, um, there is not too many details then we can actually go into that now here i'm giving a flat color to this because all the details will come in later so just giving it a flat coloring so with the with the shade that we will add and the details we will add this will all fall in place This is a very dark color. I've added blue to give it a darker shade. I'm taking a flat brush. Yes, we can do blue also, Vaishali. Yes. We have two females here. One is a very young and the other is a little grown up.
don't bother about much of this lines over here because there's too much of the line work and the detailing that will go to show the leaves and the flowers so no worries on that just quickly lay your colors paints now the only thing that we have to wait is for it to dry before we make the design because if we make the design on the wet one it will get smudged and it will get untidy so this part is done so green yellow this is done i'll just wash my brush and then get ready with the other one black is the color which i'll be using in the end so that my colors don't really now coming to the dress yes as said it's blue somebody wanted it somebody wanted it green let me see orange yes orange is a bright color we can take orange actually i have orange and why orange because uh yeah i have in acrylic here orange is there we can just do orange i am taking little orange i will add a little i don't want it really really bright orange so i'll just make a little mix of color so little very little of the crimson i'm adding to this color so give it a if you add too much it will come towards the brownish side i just don't want it very very bright so i'm just giving it this color now don't when if you don't want your um, color to get very pasty you have to the consistency is very important to check acrylic paints behave very differently when done on a paper or on canvas so canvas actually working on canvas is much easier than working on paper that's what is this there because you'll get lesser lines now i will be working on this part the, the dress just go through the outline part first now whatever suggestions you all have given we'll anyway try to incorporate here and there so blue purples all can be done brighter colors generally it is not the shade work that is done okay this is the improvisation what people are doing it now um, and we see most of the pictures they look pretty because yes of course the 3d effect is added with this but ideally it is not ideally we don't do the shade work but yes of course every art whenever you do any art you are free to do any of the shade work see i've left the stomach yeah the i have to do that wait a minute so this part here i will be doing all this section leaving this white and i'll be just filling it the sari on this side these are the plates in the middle the shades are not done instead uh, the light color lines and patterns are made in a form where it gives the light and dark effect so i will be doing those only see to it that not many areas where you have those white dots should be visible so we'll try to cover it up all rework wherever you have left if in case Hmm. so this i will be doing the girl now and as said i can take up a color what color for the dress why let okay yeah let's see what color i have here so you can also do 
any color now you can do any color the mostly i'm saying that this is a conception these colors were done when they were done in the scroll they had very limited palette very uh, limited earth uh, earth pigments so stones and all were limited to the area so they had only those excess so that was there now yes white is also seen most of the times few of the uh, dresses are kept white also so that is also there So the blue, so here I'll do few sections with other color also and I'll show you how it is. So here I'm taking poster because I was working with acrylic. Now, if in case you don't have acrylic, how would you work on that? So I'm taking the poster color here to show you different sections. You can, you don't have to layer it up with one or the other color. You can just do, make maybe the blouse if you want, you have a certain shade in the poster color, you can work with the poster color with this. Now the difference will, I'll show you what the difference comes. This, uh, when we do with the poster color, the colors is more chalky, they don't reflect the light. They absorb the light and they look beautiful. So there is no glaze. So if I just happened, uh, wait, I'll just show you once it dries. Because with the wet anyway, it will shine. These Cherial paintings, uh, talking about the coloring process, it was very tedious back then. And um, the scrolls were prepared. So they were the, there was this cloth that was rubbed with chalk powder or khadiya that they call. The khadiya and mixed with tamarind, um, tamarind paste, tamarind seed paste. They used to boil it and they take it out. So those were the things that they used to do it. Then uh, gum from the tree that was there to mix with the powder because once if in case the powder is not sticking, if it is wet, if, we, if you mix the powder with water and then you pull, uh, put it over, what will happen after sometimes that pow powder will um, get transferred to hand or whatever surface comes in the contact. So if, for that, it was the gum that was added. I remember those times when uh, we never had these Asian paints and all those kind of things. So now when studying about the history of these, I remember that there, these calcium or these lime was actually uh, got into our house. I remember sometime it was got into our house as big chunks and then it was soaked. There was too much of fume there in the room because uh, of the reaction with water it was creating a lot of bubbles it has to rest and then some fevicol was added to it or any gum to make it more adhesive to add the adhesive so that was the thing that it's not long back that we have seen but yes many of the uh, uh, many of us would not have seen but yes i'm glad i saw that uh okay what to do if color was accidentally spread out okay uh, so if in case your color has spread out uh, be a little more specific on whether it is acrylic or poster I will let you know because poster will not per dry permanently so do let me know about what it is is it poster or acrylic what what color has spilled so here I will take the blue And I'll just do some sections over here. So this is done. I will make few bands, blue bands. Keep it like a little bit fashionable matching. Ma'am, which types of brushes to use? Uh, Bhavna, if you are using the brushes, I would suggest you use synthetic brush. That is easily available, very cost effective. And it goes well with this. 
so if you are doing a cherry on on um, canvas or a bigger canvas you want to do it like then if uh, then you can also try with a hog hair brush or the color, or the brushes that we use for um, oil painting as well so those thicker uh, thicker bristles those are white bristles that come in camel okay vaishnavi ready blue what blue i couldn't get what you uh, yeah this blue yes this is blue okay now coming to this part i i'll actually have to do the this tummy of the mother here so i missed this portion i'll just fill it up in a minute wipe your brushes okay. now now comes the part a little uh, smaller portions here and this so yeah any suggestions give it to me i will paint what you say okay so it is your painting not only mine so any suggestions onto this one more thing as i said uh, we use two colors in green so what is a what about the second shade that we do generally two shades are only used right so here i will take a little yellow i'll mix it with this green that i made and a little bit of orange here okay this is the olive green kind of a shade i will show you yeah you can adjust by adding white so this is a olive green shade i'm mean, like once i do it on the paper it will be more obvious darker shades are used the brighter shades are used because all the jewelry that is done later will all be in uh, with white beads so here this is a olive shade it will dry out and it will give you the light green you want yes we will do like light, lighter green so I have, this is like the olive green or the mehndi green that we say this is done here and i'll take this blue for the lady here down and this blue is the poster that i took so for the poster i wanted to uh, wanted to show you there will be a difference in the glaze so you will see that this portion it has dried totally but it has the glaze you can see that this is acrylic paint and it is shining whereas you will see that how chalky this one is so it's very chalky so it will not shine these portions are not shining at all whereas this one is shining so you can see that right don't make your colors very transparent make it make them bright and just paint the base here again this blue as i told it is in poster so this part is done and now we will be starting with the detailing of the jewelry the black is the uh, color that i will be doing it in the end so 
probably mother is combing the hair so hair is open we can also do accessorization you can have things over here maybe whatever oil bottle or flowers whatever you want to add that is totally your imaginations you may add blue you may not add blue it can be one single color uh, sari pallu shobha um, uh, to be painted you may not do it blue that's totally here i added some border you may or may not i will be adding the prints with this Okay, so I'll be once I'll do the lines, you will see. Okay, getting back to this black. Okay, let me do this black and then I'll show you how the total thing comes out. Okay, so I'm taking black in acrylic here. Diluting it because I took it from the uh, tube when you will use the colors from the tube you will see that the body of the paint so body is the thickness or the wall the volume that it holds that is called the body of the paint the body of the paint is a little thick it has more body but whereas if you take the bottles they don't have much body that's what those are the terms that you will come across when you will use the paint There is a lot of decoration part that is seen on the hair, beads, flowers and that is the only, only represented by the dots, this flowers, how to make flowers and all, we will just do it. So the base colouring is almost done. So here I want to add a little bit of black in the in the inside of the house so this is the window and probably inside we don't see anything here and I just blocked it out with black Thank you, Hima. Thank you. So this much is done here and now we will start with the detailing part and the jewelry part. Now, first this all will wait for it to dry. I will go on to this. Now what all you can use for the, for the detailing? You can use your uh, pointed thinner brush also to do the detailing you can also go for uh, pens few pens to be today now we have uh, we get a lot of colorful pens to do the line work and all you can go ahead with that as well i am taking the yellow and just very little green to make it a very light color so this is the lighter color i'll add a little white to it so that it gets even lighter so black and white are added to get the tone so I'm getting a little lighter tone and now we will be starting with the tree you may just go ahead and do these circles do not put any pressure on your brush and make loose lines loose lines means lines very lightly like this you will get the difference they can be light dark they will differ in the size also just go a little free on this so 
So here I have, I have made the color like this and some places it's light and dark. So I'm just taking it one time from here and the other so that we get a little shade change. Even if you're not getting full circles, don't mind. Just do a few circles like that. A little overlapping, smaller ones, that's all correct. Now we'll just make few leaves. This is a quick work that we do. So it is only adding the impression. We don't have to be very skilled while we are doing this. Yeah, but definitely it should look like that green. Now these are these are different kind of tree when this uh, the leaf ad arrangement is different for every tree. So some will have droopy leaves, some will have different kinds of leaves. So here it is, it's like that. So for few, these circle ones are having, these are the, <coughs> I'll just shift my page. The flowers can also be made and <clears throat> few flowers I'll be making in different sections. Oops. See, so this is the disaster. I dipped it in orange. So yeah, these things happen well with you also it'll happen. So again, nothing, no problem. Wash it, pick the other one. Make fine lines, not very heavy lines. Try to be fine, but loose, not very. So it is like strokes. You will have some places thick and thin that will add the beauty. It's not that we are doing it with a pencil or a nib. It's a brush work and br the beauty of the brush is with the strokes. So try getting those nice fine strokes. Now it's six petal or five petal doesn't matter. So I'm totally done with mine. I have to make a fresh batch of it. Again, the green is here. A little orange I take. A little yellow. And a little white. I got my color here. Just make few. <clears throat> this takes some time, so just be with me. So, if you're liking it, uh, what type of sheet are you drawing? Uh, yeah, I mess. I uh, probably I discussed that uh, the paper in in the previous session when we were drawing. I showed you the sheet. Up. I don't have it here, but yeah. Preferably take a 200 GSM fine paper, not very fine, just medium. So 200 GSM is a good uh, weight of paper which you can work your wet mediums on. Many of you are attending this as a second session today. That's a little asking for too much to attend two classes over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed the mandala session that we just finished.
just fill up the spaces with single leaves if here like that so this is what it looks like not every place you will have the dark color you will have different shades of green making different leaf here like this now how to add the flowers i will be adding few flowers here this will waiting for it to dry So I'm taking a red and making few dots. Over it only, you can just place your reds in different areas. How to do those flowers? You don't have to really calculate where. So the flowers are done in this fashion only. There is nothing else that we do for the flowers. Just red and then later with white. So I'll just quickly do the white also for you to see. You, If you uh, want, you can have it with a dotting tool also. These dots are very, very um, common in cherry al paintings. Instantly, uh, with, with this white over these dark backgrounds will give a beautiful shade. So that is the main reason why we do it black because the contrast gets a little more it intensifies and then it looks very catchy like this so this is the tree is done this part is done now we will come to the dress of them a uh, tree looks like a stamp impression work <laughs> yeah you can add that as well now now with whites we will only add the dots now, if in case you want very detailed work and you don't want very extensive that you want to do too much with this, there, there are shortcuts also. I will be telling you that as well. So this is the tika and then here. So these are the only jewelry part that that we see. I'll just hold it a little closer, probably to give a better idea. This way, I will just go ahead and do the do this hat first. So what about this? We'll just take a little bit of. making it a little uh, shade in brown so greenish brown see to it that your strokes work yourself in the same manner like the roof is Just the base work. Now 
now the wall I will be doing it with a lighter brown so with the same brown I'm adding a little white so this this is the shade that I've worked myself on a little lighter on the wall but these are not painted walls the house is uh, the house that I'm doing is not painted and it is just having the mud wall we will be doing a lot of design on the wall as well So here and I'm adding a few borders to this part. I'm adding a little brown, just the here. This I have is ochre color the ochre and it is in uh, gouache so I will just give you an idea of how to work with gouache also gouache is very uh, versatile medium and it works very well uh, while we layer it up so that's very good about gouache but here since I have it here very handy so this is the ochre and I'm adding a little bit of white to this making the borders I will be working with dots and with color both so the base just give it a base it will give you give your dots a little outside edge Here I will be adding different places. You will see how, how the colors will change. The dot will look beautiful with the contrast that we will create. So here I am just adding this red. Whatever shade of red I happen to make. Okay. So here it's actually it's not shiny but it's just reflecting. The water is reflecting the color. Now, lots of times we see this red color, alta or mehendi, whatever, here on this and the foot also. The fingers are painted, all the fingers are painted with this only and the alta runs on the foot. So, all the fingers, we don't see it for especially the ladies and the girls, married ladies, we see this. So, this is done for the background is always red that is a distinct uh, distinctive thing for the style uh, for the that picture that's that's how it has been practiced for so long Uh, in this are different types of trees and plants. Yes, when we will do the next picture, we will do uh, more types of trees and plants because this picture doesn't allow us to do a lot of pic a lot of uh, uh, room for all of that. So next picture that we will do, we will do a different kind of tree. 
now i want to do the detailing on the dress part and i will be adding the lines so taking the green any color you can take your wish so no no hard and fast rule on that you can also take black you can take any color that you want so here it's blue also that i have so blue and green yeah i can actually mix it up i'll make some color here and now uh, i will add the details so what are these lines are i'm adding it with blue here these lines the cross patterns the dot patterns are very common so i'm just adding this there's a white highlight also some blue fringes here some tassel I'm taking a very thin brush to do the details. I think it's getting out of focus so what? Just make fine lines. Now as I said, if you don't want to work on this with fine um, with fine brush, you can also use different color of pens. So I have a lot of pens over here if in case uh, you want any help with the pens you can actually do with the pens also. They work over acrylic also and poster color also. I'll just show you how it, how it comes out to make it a little more clear. I have a purple color here and so see with this it will get easier for you to do the dots patterns whatever you want. But not necessary that you need these uh, these uh, pens. You can actually work yourself better with the brush. So these are the line patterns that are there. Only such patterns will come. So I'll actually not work with pen. I just wanted to show you. Here I will be doing with the brush. You may also use a dotting tool for all of this. Or anything that is pointed for that matter. Now here again. This will make it look pretty, and uh, the ex these uh, these dots uh, are very prominent. These white dots. You may do very small motifs, but yes, the designs here are very simple they are not intricate they are not that flowy or curvy thank you shobha thank you so much uh, plain sari ma'am or you will yeah later yes we have to do a lot of design the design will actually give you the effect otherwise it is just plain backgrounds how to do the whole picture it depends on how we accessorize it how how the beauty will come how to add the uh, flow on the face that the face we have not done yet the shades
now again um, as i told you about the colored pens we do get the color uh, white color pen also for the details you can actually uh, get that as well so um, i'll just show you it's on my table right now let me be done with this part i'll show you the white pen effect how do we get it We'll quickly move to the blouse now after this. Some are left on this part. So this, we're from this to this, it's, oh, it gets a little more uh, gaudy more bright more celebrating i'm just going a little loose and not really paying attention on how the circles are coming Not all are the same size also from here. They are very dense. So I'm just making it very, very light. Yeah, that's it. Now, how to work yourself with the pen? We do get jelly roll pens. These are white pens. You can do the design with this. I will show you on the hair. When you have to make a really pretty um, jewelry and you want perfect size dots, you can actually go with the pen also. It will take few seconds for it to dry and so do not smear it right away. So this is the, these are the dots that can come with this. But I always prefer the brush because they give you a different kind of brightness also. And they look more real, more worked out thing. So you can add different, different things to your So here I have a green and I am adding one green line over here. So for very small ones, you can actually take a little bit of one or two lines or something you have to do, then don't worry. You can actually go ahead with that. Now there's a wash. So I'll just again go with the When you will work with this, I don't know if this is supporting or not. It's very important for you to see. With the pen, you will have... A... No, it's not coming in this camera. But yes, work it with... You can make it uh, for yourself. You can actually uh, work both ways and see whichever you like. Or whichever is better or easier for you. You can work on that. Now I will be doing the dots. These are important. Now, if in case you don't want to do these dots, what is the next thing that we should be doing to eliminate this dot dotting? There's too much of dotting. So there's an easy way out, which I will do after this line.
so some in the bangles these dots will all you can also do the color dots also so it is not that only white i want to do it white and i'm you can actually do a different color but yes a lighter color perhaps now one more thing is when you are doing these i'll just see to you can just make a pipe line or a very thin line and do crosses on it that also looks very beautiful so as in this one here and you can do the crosses or if in case you have the white this is not actually this is coming blurry i don't know why or you can just do it like this so i'm just cutting it cross i will go ahead and make those dots for the girl's dress The whole picture if you are doing it will take some time so yeah now here i'm making a dot and i'll be making a nut you can make a thin line here and then make dots A little bit of maybe just a very light lip I'll be adding to give you the effects of how the lip is made. So this very light, very thin, not too broad. And you can do the design in the jewelry here I'm adding just the red stones in the middle so the white stays there intact now these smaller details that what whatever I'm doing it with a brush it's very easy when you do it with the uh, with a pen Now there is one more highlight work that we add to the corner of the places and that is the hand wherever the light is shining the light is coming on the top of the hand this area this area here a little on this you can again add um, this part here this will actually differentiate from this leg to this leg yeah some places do not do the outline for every other area now giving the folds of the dress i'm taking a red because it's the same shade and very fine lines are made so fine lines this 
do not press your brush make very very thin and soft lines they will go weak at places they will take up so that is the flow with the brush that you will get you will not with the uh, with the pen you will not get this flow so this so the all the folds very thin very diluted form of this lines and i'm giving that on this side as well now this will tell you the folds wherever the folds are coming and this will give you the idea of the uh, shade so it is a flat color but only the lines will give you whatever shade pattern shades you want and i'm giving it on top of this on top of the print now coming to sh uh, show you how do we do with the dotting tool so you get such dotting tools it can be a different sizes now this is very handy why because it has different size so if you want to make a bigger dot or smaller dot you can actually work yourself so i am doing bigger dots with my dotting tool make sure that your circles are all in the same size and this um, you don't have to leave the white area behind at in the bottom so don't use that i'm taking black pen to do these sections making these balls so over black uh, i mean like over white if you just do these lines it will appear as if you did the circles like that so i will be doing the same on this side and here making dots this is very very important we we always see this the tikka so this this is the picture and the same way we will be doing the girl i will be showing you only for the big one uh, big lady here and 
yeah we are left with only few details in here i will be adding a tikka for this the bindi mainly for the girl too Again, the dots are the only things for the jewelry part. So I'm just adding the anklet. I'm taking a red pen to do the flowers on the hair or the pink one. So just few. So only here and we are done with this picture. Few column designs. So this is just a spiral that I'm doing. You can add few designs to make it look pretty some highlighted some lines for the highlight in the random lines don't worry about where it is actually so this Very simple design for the girl, just dots. You can do whatever you wish to. Now for the lower portion, you can do it green also, you can do it brown also, any color. Here I will just take, uh, what color should I take? I'll just take a little bit of green only. So maybe a little grassy land here. So whatever green I have here, I'm, I have a lot of green. I'm just mixing that to see what, what needs to be added more. So because there's no predefined color here, I'm just adding my, cell, uh, my colors to get a decent shade. And yeah, pretty well. A little white. and we'll be doing the background this foreground I would say now the finishing part is left for this part and what is the finishing part I will tell you which can be done um, by you it's just that when we have those border lines, these border lines, we'll have to do the black color lining on it. That you can do with uh, your pen also or with brush, anything, whatever you're comfortable with. Here, so this is the picture. You may also add few flowers or whatever small dots you want to do it for the background. That is also uh, widely seen that we do such things. I'll just show you in a... So, yeah. That will just add the color and break the monotony of the background. So, this is the picture that we have done and i hope you all like it if you have liked it press the bell uh, icon also for notifications first thing L like definitely like it so that i get to know how many people are liking this and i will see you all in the next 
session which we will be doing in the next week uh, i will uh, anybody has any doubts can actually um, put it across in the next class we will be uh, doing the male figures so how to do the male figures thank you so much hema thank you for staying for so long i, I thought that it's we are actually taking too much time here so this is the picture that we have come up, come up with and uh, the drawing in one class and the coloring in the other so i hope you all like it if you liked it definitely share your thoughts with me and next class next saturday and sunday we will have the, our live at 3 o'clock in the afternoon so please join us and yes share this workshop with others next workshop uh, uh, the male figures and thereafter we will be doing um, a picture where we celebrate the a festival from there this this uh, this is widely seen so those topics that are widely seen we will be doing that uh she she makes okay uh you can uh, message me on my facebook and arthur studio and i will revert to you uh i will just give you my, uh, for those who want to join the classes i'll just write down my number you can contact me if you're not on the facebook so here it is i have given my number also so you can message me uh, if you are not on the facebook right so for uh, yes and one more announcement that we are starting the in the uh, month of march we are starting new batches the batches will be for madhubani mandala art and uh, and acrylic painting so acrylic painting for uh teens and adults a very senior batch advanced batch is starting so if you are interested just message me okay see you all to uh, in the next uh, week till then take care bye bye